Hi everyone, I'm Catherine, the artist behind Bigelow Fine Arts. Come colour along with me on these lemur frogs from Fragile Worlds. I do like these more realistic pages, but they can be daunting and a lot of work to make look realistic. I aim to break it down and work things up one leaf at a time. So grab those greens and let's colour this up together. A little more background work today. I wanted to add in a few more layers to the top. I know I didn't add enough, so I did add more, but when I blend out the top with solvent, it still wasn't enough layers. So when it comes to layering in with light colors, more is better. I begin with the earth green yellowish, then I add in more cadmium yellow lemon to the center to keep it bright. I add in a touch of chrome oxide green to the bottom to touch up against a couple of the lines where it was lighter. On to more leaves, and I am coming in with permanent green olive and adding in a base layer over the entire leaf, skipping the veins. I want the veins to remain light for now. This layer is light enough that I could have gone over the entire leaf, so if your layers are light and you don't want to futz with the veins, go ahead. Just make sure to not color over the little water drops. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps keep you informed of when I post new videos, as well as join in on the color alongs. I have palettes and timestamps in a Patreon post, so go check that out if you want the whole list of colors. Subscribing is the best way to keep up with the color alongs. I begin blocking in shape and shading with chrome oxide green. I am giving this leaf a similar shape to the others where the leaf will rise up from the center vein area, mound over, then fall back down at the edges. The right side of the leaf appears to come up from the center, mound over, fall back down a little, then rise up again. So there will be a little valley in the center of the leaf. I will just shade in the valley since the leaf is mostly cut off on that side and it would be a little harder to make the valley look right. Basically, my shading will be along the central vein and at the edges of the leaf, leaving the center mounds lighter as they are the high points and receiving more light.
I come in with the may green and add in a layer over the entire leaf to give it that yellowish cast that I have been using for these leaves. It also gives the highlight an extra layer, helping to fill in the paper a little more. I then go through and fill in all of the veins. I come in with the dark green and begin to define the shading and shaping I put in with the chrome oxide green. I want to darken the base of the shadowed areas and feather the color out. For now, the layers are light. I will keep coming back in with more layers to gradually darken everything up. Right now, I am focused on shape and color. Once I get those in place, I begin to focus on contrast and filling in the tooth of the paper. If you've made it this far and have enjoyed coloring along with me or just watching this page come together, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a like and subscribe to stay informed of when I post more videos. It really helps me out. Check out my blog posts on Patreon. I have a short write-up, my palettes, and a list of the chapter breaks, and they're available for everyone. If you have any questions or page requests, please leave them below or reach out to me on social media. I put a list of chapter breaks in the show notes as well as a list of equipment I like to use. If you use any of my affiliate links, it really helps me out without costing you a thing. I post three times during the week and subscribing is the best way to stay in the loop.
I bring in the earth green yellowish and blend out the colors as well as add in a light layer over the highlights. I add more layers to the shaded areas and fewer layers to the highlights so I can keep them light. And now I come in with sepia and really get those shadows put in place. This really begins to get the contrast up and helps bring the leaf more to life. The addition of the sepia along the center vein has really made the vein look like it is almost white again. I'll fix that when I refine the colors. I come in with pine green and blend out the edges of the shadows a little into the highlight. I am gradually shrinking the highlight as I always make them a little larger than needed. For the overly bright veins, I am adding in a layer of permanent green olive over them which immediately tones them down and makes them more a part of the leaf.
I now go through and add in a layer over the areas where the shading is to better blend the shading into the leaf and to also get more contrast in. I also lightly blend into the highlight to help unify the colors across the whole leaf. I use the chrome oxide green in a similar way. I go through and add into the shadows, keeping it more to the darker parts of the leaf rather than the whole leaf. I do blend out the edges with light layers into the highlight a little. More dark green to help get the contrast back up and further refine the shadows. I also go through and refine the color where I think it isn't forming a smooth gradient of color. I add in a touch of color over the veins as well to slightly darken them up and add in a bit of shading to the side of the stem.
Back to the sepia to bring the contrast up again. Every time I add in a layer over the highlights, I need to add in a layer to the shadows. I add in shading to the side of the stem, then go through and touch up all the shadows on the whole leaf, making the darkest parts as dark as I can without pressing too hard. I also go through and add in a little more shading to the grass leaf, and that is it for this large leaf. Thanks for joining me on this lemur frog today. Let me know below or on social media if you colored along. I'd love to know how you did. I want to thank you all so much for coming along and joining in with me on this coloring journey. I appreciate all my subscribers and look forward to more of you joining in and coloring along with me. Please like, share, and subscribe to help that happen. Until next time, happy coloring!